It really is my go-to friend for every patient. There is really no situation that I can imagine where the scanner wouldn't be able to deliver what I need. I'm Oran Frankel. I'm an emergency physician, uh, board certified in the United States, and I completed a fellowship in point-of-care ultrasound as well. I now have been living and working in mostly Vancouver, BC in a busy urban emergency department and also doing some shorter stints in some more rural emergency departments around British Columbia and in Northern Washington State. I think point of care ultrasound has the power to really transform our practice as physicians. We were trained in these archaic arts of the physical examination, which I respect date back hundreds of years and to a lot of people's hard work in figuring out these maneuvers to help figure out a diagnosis. But in the modern day of evidence-based practice, we know that most of our physical examination just doesn't hold up weight and doesn't really help us shape the diagnosis and actions that we need to take on patients the same way that testing can. And at the same time, we don't want to subject all of our patients to expensive, irradiating forms of testing like CT scans. And so the ultrasound really helps us narrow and focus our assessment of a patient in real time. It transforms our physical examination into something that is verifiable, into something that is more dependable and much more accurate and really helps funnel our care plan for all of those patients uh, and really narrow their differential diagnosis so we can be more efficient and effective as physicians. I think hands down the biggest area of medicine that benefits the most from handheld point of care ultrasound particularly is rural care. Anyone who is operating in an under-resourced environment. So whether that's in North America, Europe, or across the world, the less access to diagnostic testing and specialized services you have, the more power the point of care ultrasound delivers because it can do so much of what those doctors need to do, which is risk stratifying and figure out who needs a transfer, who can be managed close to home and how and what is the diagnosis. And it's this amazingly powerful resource into this tiny little package that can deliver a lot of utility in those communities especially. The biggest challenge we hear from healthcare practitioners is that it takes time to learn. And then there's also a concern around interpreting the scans, and sometimes the liability around interpreting those scans. I think the more training that users get, the more confidence they have in interpreting the scans and how to generate them, what false positives and false negatives might be, and they feel more comfortable integrating it into their practice. I think the earlier and earlier we teach ultrasound in people's medical training trajectory, the better and better they will be with it, and the more we can trust their practice as safe practice and see it get integrated more deeply into the general clinical practice of medicine. The thing that's most remarkable to me about the Clarius ultrasound primarily is the image quality. I find that it's comparable to most of the carts uh, that I trained on. It might be even better than some of the carts that I trained on just a few years ago. And it's certainly comparable to most of the carts in my emergency department at the time. And yet it's mobile, easy to use. I never need to look for it because I always know where it is and it's quick and easy to apply and use with my patients. If you had asked me eight years ago, I might not have appreciated the value of the wireless application because all I knew were carts and I had grown up training on carts that had a cable and you just learned to manage this cable that was always in the way. And it was sort of like wireless earbuds that once I transitioned to wireless, now when I go to use a cart, that cable is so annoying and it's really in my way all the time and I really value wireless. It's gonna be really hard for me to ever go back if I ever had to uh, and I hope I never do. I see a future where point of care ultrasound could be deeply integrated into healthcare delivery systems as a way to reduce costs, especially in organized healthcare structures 
there's a lot of room for improvement and reducing healthcare costs. I think the PAL scanner could play an integral role in that by enabling people who are doing both diagnostic and procedural ultrasound, like emergency physicians or inpatient practitioners like hospitalists or critical care physicians to really have a single scanner that can streamline a lot of their processes.